Hi, good day everyone. Uh, it's Stanley uh, with you again. And like I promised in our last uh, episode, I would be diving uh, into the stream migration proper, right? Where we get to see the uh, nuances, the uh, re prerequisites. So, so that the first things first is to be on the stream admin center and how to go about it is to visit the all admin center, click on the stream uh, one, uh, let it load. So once you're here, right, uh, all you need to do is to, uh, so but before we uh, go into the proper migrations, just to, to see the settings, uh, stuff you have to do. So for uh, enabling or disabling Stream Classic for your users, you know, this is where you go, the settings. Uh, either you disable this or you schedule uh, this for the least, uh, the last date, which is the 15th of April, 2024 right so users can also access the stream classic while they you know so they can access the stream classic and the stream on sharepoint hand in hand right and then you can uh, publish a display message that would uh, let users know so this message here is exactly what you have here at the top here just to direct users that hey you know stream classic is being uh replaced by stream on sharepoint you know this is where they need to you know the, the message needed for the transition right then uh so moving over to the so you click on the launch migration tool this launches the interface uh for the migration tool that will be used for the move right so uh the first time you launch this it would load uh your containers automatically right uh user containers m2c5 groups uh company-wide groups often videos uh yeah, so it loads up those uh, videos for you so that you can see the ones that would uh, need to go over. So this information is it's, uh, would be required when you do your inventory report. So that's where you get the decisions. That's where you get the insight for uh, the move. So before you, you proceed, ensure that this says connected at the top right. Right, so this ensures that your stream classic and the stream on SharePoint is connected and is needed for the migration you want to do. So at the top here, you have the settings icon where you can set uh, filters, right? Global filters, right? You also have this option in each container, so you can set a filter for. Uh, so this you can set a filter for uh, Teams meeting recording. This this I want to filter this uh, just if Teams meeting recordings, you know. We can filter by published uh, dates. You know, you can filter by the last view date. You can filter by the number of views. So all these are contained within the inventory report. So that would give you the uh, the insight to make uh, necessary decisions as uh, needed. Okay. So moving on. So this is uh, from where you would see your list of containers. You would uh, proceed. So once, if you're coming here the first time. Uh, the status scan status would show not scanned, right? So, but I've scanned this uh, container before now, so that's why it's showing as completed, right? So, um, so I don't have any videos in my, I don't have any videos in my stream classic. So uh, this container is actually empty. So you see zero videos, zero uh, data. So how I came about this is I came here and created a group. Classic migration one, eight. Not now. Right, so the group opens up, and this is the group ID at the top here. So I copy this, come down to this. So this is one way to add our containers, right? So if you've identified a specified single container, I paste the group ID, put it this, and type m 3 5 group and add right so this adds here so this adds here and says uh queued okay so what i need to do is just select this so i've set up uh so while i created this container i set it to auto scan right so that's why it's it skipped the not scanned uh, status and moved to the queued. So it's currently queued for a scan and it's not now completed with zero videos, right? So how to move 
how to migrate a container is to select the containers you want to move click on add to migration so it would prompt you to select the filters you'd want to apply so we want to use the, the default uh, setting right and say continue so this gets uh, moved over into the migration tab we can find that here right so this moves over here right so the migration status is never run and the tax state is active so you, you can see this uh, icon here that says uh, assign a destination. So for every migration, you need to specify a destination. So the first thing we need to do is to come here and edit this destination. Where do we want it to be in within OneDrive or SharePoint? And we search for the, the site we would want it to be in. So uh, the list of sites that will show up here are the sites that I have uh, admin uh, privileges on. Right. So they come up here and uh, I'll need to... Uh, project uh, project then okay documents okay let's have this let's have this part project send should documents correct so once I have this and I'm ready to migrate all I just need to do is to come here and click on migrate so it gives you this prompt and you say migrate right so it's currently queued for migration it would process and say completed. So currently there's no video in it, so we won't be expecting any magic uh, to happen within uh, SharePoint. So that's the basic uh, nuance and uh, make reference to the documentations out there, right? They are quite extensive, but this is more like a, a demo. So you see how it works and it's quite, uh, it's an easy tool. It's a straightforward tool that uh, moves. So uh, at any point you encounter any issues, uh, do well to raise a support request and the Microsoft support engineers would uh, attend to you uh, as needed. So thank you very much for uh, staying uh, till this uh, moment in time and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much once again and do have a wonderful day.